Hi, welcome to Naresh IT and this is Kishore. Now we are going to continue the friend class, friend class concept. Okay. Now in this session I will show you how to access one class data from another class by using object. Okay. See this, I am giving the second example. First of all common header files, hash include iostream.h and as usual conio.h. Next, I want to declare a class here, for example, class other. Okay. Now, the class name is other. Next, here I want to enter the other name. Now, a name, a name means here other name. Next, uh, here I am going to introduce friend class, friend class which class I want to make a friend? Book class. Okay. Now, there is another class called book. Now, the book class is the friend for other class. Next, here class is finished. Okay. Here, the data is available in other class and book is another class and now it is a friend to this other class. Okay. Later, I want to start the book class. class book. Next, the book class is having the data like this, character b name, here b name means book name and book price also. Okay. Now, the book class is having price details also and here other class is having other name and book class is having book name and price, but already here book is declared as a friend. Okay. And now, here public area. Okay. And one more thing we have to discuss, what actually in this example we are going to do what? I want to access this private data from book class, that is why first of all we have to declare the object of this class. Okay. That is why here I am going to do one thing, first class name is what? Other, that is why other A. Now, other is what? class name and A is what the object derived from other. Now, what happened in this example? One class object is derived in another class. Now, this one is called composition, this concept is called composition. That is why composition is the process of declaring one class object in another class. Okay. That is why composition is the process of defining an object of one class within another class. Next, here it is the object of which class? Other class. That is why here other is the container class. Now, other is the container class and other object is having in book now. That is why book is the contained class. Okay. That is why here what happened? We are declaring other class object in book class. That is why other class becomes container class and book is having other class object. That is why it becomes contained class and this procedure is called composition. Next, now I am going for public and here I want to read the data first of all. I want to read the data first of all. That is why here I am going to void get. Okay. Here void get data directly I am going to write like this. First I want to enter the other name that is why see out enter other name. Now see in actually other name is the member of which class? Other class and here book is what? Friend class. Okay. Now, to access the other class data from book class, first of all we should have to use the object name. That is why a dot other. Okay. Now, see in a dot other because of other is not the member of this one and here other is the class name. But I want to access which one? 
other class member that is a name that is why here you have to write a name. Now, see how it is going to print the enter other name and scene is going to read the other name. Now, the user is entering the other name. Okay. Later, I want to enter the book name and price that is why here see out enter book name next C in and here one point we have to remember in previous example we are going to read the other name actually other name is the member of which class other class okay and book is the what friend class that is why here whenever you are going to access container class data members from contained class you should have to enter the object name of container class that is why here I have used a dot a name but here I am going to use book name. Book name is what member of same class na? that is why there is no need of object name directly you can enter b name next same thing price c out enter price now c in price now function closed and class also closed and here it is only for what purpose reading the data. Now, I want to show the data then how to show the data for that I am going to define one more function void put to data same thing is happened here first uh, c out book name I want to print the book name first of all. Okay. Actually book name is the member of other class that is why a dot b name. Now, it is going to read the okay, here I want to print the other name first of all other name now that is why a dot a name. Later we have to print the book name c out book name. Now, book name is the member of same class that is why directly b name and here to get the next line end l is common thing next uh, price price also member of the book that is why directly we can use the price ok. Now, function closed and class also closed and here get the data is to read the data and put data is for printing the data. Now, how to call the member functions and here in previous example what happened we have declared the we have declared the container class as a argument, but this time it is not a argument it is directly declared it means container class object directly declared in contained class ok. That is already object created that is why there is no need of uh, declaring the container class object once again ok. Already container class object is declared here ok, but in previous example what happened we are sending container class object as an argument to the container class function ok, but this time it is not like that just we have declared the container class object in container class that is why there is no need to redeclaring the container class object that is why in main function directly declare the contained class object contained class name is what book that is why directly book b ok. In previous example what happened test 1 t 1 one object created later test 2 t 2 another object also declared, but here there is no need of first class object because of already it is declared next screen clear and b dot get to data. Now, it is going to invoke this function b dot get to data which is going to call this function now other name book name price next we have to print the data that is why b dot put to data now it is going to show the other name book name as well as price next uh, get ch now program closed it is how to define the composition that is why it is the perfect program for composition because of in this example what happened completely one class object is defined in another con another class ok. That is why here it is the container class it is the contained class 
and this concept is called composition. That is why composition allows to declare one class object in another class okay. and here also what happened a class data, a class data means other name actually other name is the member of other class okay, but it is reused in book class that is why composition allows the concept of okay, reusability, but we are not adding extra features that is why it does not allow to extensibility it is the example for composition. Thank you for watching. Thank you.